making movies. Start Lumion. For this tutorial we have prepared a scene using the things we learned in the previous tutorials. You can use any scene you want, because the same principles apply to every scene you want to turn into a movie. After loading a scene you start in the so-called build mode. Build mode allows you to build a scene. It does not have any tools to make a movie. To create a movie we need to switch to movie mode. Press the movie button on the bottom right, to switch to movie mode. In this mode you can make movies. At the bottom there's a list of all the clips you created. All clips together form a movie. Currently there's no clip because you did not create one yet. Let's create a new clip. Click an empty clip. Select one of the three options. You can either use a still image, a movie file from disk, or you can record a movie based on the 3D scene we loaded before. Select the record option to start recording a new clip. This is where you record your movie. Lumion has an automated camera system. Use the right mouse button to rotate the camera, and use the arrow keys on the keyboard to move around. At the top there's a slider that allows you to set the exposure. The other slider allows you to zoom in and out. If you have found a nice shot, click the Take Photo button at the center of the screen. To make a movie you create several photos and Lumion will automatically turn your photos into a movie. The bar above the photos you have taken allows you to preview the movie. Click the bar and scroll from one photo to the other, like this. And now we take one more photo. The timing and speed between photos is calculated automatically. If you press the play button on the left you will get a preview of your clip. Press stop to stop the preview. To change a photo you previously created, you can click a photo and click the take photo button to redo a shot. To make a new photo, make sure the empty photo with the plus sign in it is selected. Deleting a photo is a matter of selecting it and clicking the trash can icon. Try modifying your clip until you get the results you want and click the OK button on the right. Pay attention to the list of clips at the bottom of the screen. One of the clips is the clip you just created. Click an empty clip to create another new clip. Now take some photos to create a clip and press OK. All the way to the left there is a big button that has a projection screen on it. This button allows you to preview the entire movie. In the final movie, clips are played one after another to create one big movie. The progress bar shows a line between the start and end of clips. If you want to change the order, you can drag and drop them in any order you want. Let's take a look at effects. There are many effects to modify a clip. Look at the top left and locate the new effect button. This button allows you to add a new effect. The first category contains image effects. Image effects are used for things like transitions and creating artistic looks. The second category contains scene effects. These effects allow you to change parameters of your scene like fog, clouds, sunlight and many other things. For example, there is an effect to animate objects. 
With this effect, you can create driving cars and walking people. The final category contains effects to modify clips. These simple effects allow you to cut the beginning or end of a clip or change the speed. Let's add a simple effect to see what it does. Click the color effect category and click the fade in fade out effect. This effect simply fades the beginning and end of a clip to black or white. Click play to play back the clip. Every time you add an effect it will appear in the area on the left. Some effects have additional settings you can configure. You can switch this effect to white for example to fade to white instead of black. You can also add effects to the entire movie. First select the entire movie by selecting the project a screen button on the bottom left, and click the effect button to add an effect. Select the vignette color effect. This effect creates a nice soft fade at the edges of the screen. This effect is now enabled for every clip. Let's use a scene effect to create walking people. Click the little globe icon to switch back to build mode. Click the objects button and click the people button. We need a walking character. Click one of the characters that is labeled as a walking character. Place the character anywhere in your scene. Click the movie mode button on the right to go back to movie mode. Click the effect button and click the second category. Pick the move items effect. The black button brings you to an editor which allows you to pick a start and an end position for any object. Click the button and locate the walking character you just added. Move the character to its start position. Click the right button at the bottom center and place your character at the end position. Click OK to confirm the movement. On the right there is a clipboard button which allows you to save a movie file. Click this button to save the final result. There are several resolutions and qualities to choose from. Single star quality level is very fast but does not deliver the maximum image quality possible. Two stars is almost perfect but it still has some jagged edges. Three star quality results in smooth images at the best quality possible. When you press the control key on your keyboard you get some extra advanced options. At the top left you can select the file format. Usually you want to save a mp4 movie file, but Lumion also allows you to save an image sequence. The extra frame edge setting, at the center, is used to reduce errors, but a bigger edge increases rendering time. You can either go for quality or render speed, or make a compromise between the two. The purpose of the extra edge is to render the image beyond the edge of the screen. For example, imagine the sun is just outside the screen. The extra frame edge renders beyond the screen edge, so streaks of the sun are still visible even though the sun itself is not visible. For best quality you can put the slider all the way to the right. For fast rendering put the slider all the way to the left. At the top right you can enable 3D output. When this option is enabled Lumion outputs stereoscopic movies. Finally you select one of the available resolutions to save your movie. With a little bit more work, you get a movie like this. Congratulations, you now know how to make movies.